So, ladies and gents, it is time for the second semi final. Please give it up a big round of applause. Matt Nicole is up against, from South Africa, Jason Cook. So, Matt Nicole representing the UK, Jason Cook representing South Africa, a country that has produced some amazing golfers uh, down the years. Matt Nicole, who works full time as a golf pro, he's actually given me a golf lesson, Lee. You've never done that. How are you feeling there, Jason, after your performance in the quarterfinals? Yeah, it's always nervous being in a quarterfinal, going into a semi, into a, into a final, sorry. But uh, great hitter that I'm going up against, Matt. Um, we are trying to put on a show now. Matt, you kept the nerves in check brilliantly in the quarterfinals. 439 yards. Got more in your locker? Um, I think the range is 440, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, there might be one in there, but we'll see. That's, that, we'll just put some good swings on it and see what Ooh. happens. So Jason Cook with his fancy pants going first. And let's see how he uh, gets on. A little left to right on there. Maybe not ideal to get as much run as you want. That one not staying in the gridley. No, uh, Jason, all night I was watching him. He's got these um, little uh, phase just going away from it. Seems to be his shot. But he's posting good club head speeds. 139, 140. And we'll see with this slow-mo. He looks like a golfer, then he turns into a baseball player about here. Yeah. So, but, uh, you know, to his age to be moving these speeds and these distances, he's a real great athlete. 365 yards registered on the grid uh, for him, so... Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. He'd want more from this, but 138, he's pushing and uh, pretty damn good ball speed. 200 miles an hour ball speed in long drive will make you competitive. You can really see the baseball technique there. Very wide stance. Is that, is, is that good for... a? Long driver? Uh, in, in theory, it, it, it probably with a slightly narrower stance, it, it slowed down. I believe he has a long-term injury, which has created that swing method as well, as well as his baseball background. So he, he's working with what he's got here. OK. So let's see if he can get his club head speed up and over that 140 miles an hour mark. I think once you get out to that 140 mile an hour mark, Lee, you start getting the real distances. Yeah, I, I think people are very often look at club head speeds with these long drive guys, but ball speed for me is a bit magic. Again, he's touching at 200 miles an hour, which is going to put him up good yardage. But 372 again with that last drive. Okay, let's see how he's getting on here. That one looked a little bit quicker. Yeah, I think he's pulled that left. I think that's going to miss the grid up the left side. OK, so I think 372 is the number uh, for Matt to beat. Like I said, he gave me a lesson before. I was watching him hitting the ball indoors. It was incredible, the sound. Yeah, I mean, uh, Matt gets the most out of it. We'll see his numbers come up in a minute. But he's all about launch and spin. I mean, he's just got an absolutely beautiful swing. He's not a big guy like the other guys, but he is getting everything out of what he does. Big thing for Matt, he hits the grid a lot. So he's not going to give you a set. He's going to make you work for the set. He will get something in here. He will not give it to Jason. And as you, you just mentioned, his, his frame, his, his stature, much more wiry than Joe. But does that allow him to move through the ball quicker? Um, not necessarily from a speed point of view. Um, uh, he's got massive flexibility. He's got huge spinal and arm flexibility. This looks like a good shot going down here. And he's very fast in the transition. Uh, I don't know this as a fact, but possibly if he was bigger, he might be able to swing it a bit faster. But I just love his swing. I wonder if in a couple of years you see him start putting on more muscle mass. But maybe, possibly. We're looking at this one coming down the grid now. 404, uh, that's enough. Uh, but may, he might possibly do that as an option. OK, 138 again, what, 200 ball spins. And that's very take... straight. That looks like one of the straightest hits that we've seen in the semi-final so far. As I was saying earlier, a lot of shape isn't a great thing in long drive. It's a glancing blow. So this straight hitting, low spinning, this is where he, he makes up. He wins a lot of tournaments on the back of this. 393 yards, hitting within himself again like an arrow. Right, the speed here, this is a big jump in club head speed. He's really moved this up here. 146, 185, lovely looking golf shot. Let's see what it does on the floor. Got to be over 400 Look at yards. these hands high behind his head. What a lovely move this is. Not quite 400 yards. Can you teach me to hit it like that? Uh, about 10 years, and I think we're going to be there, you know? <laughs> My back wouldn't stand up to that. Excellent hitting there from uh, Matt Nicole. Uh, Jason's got the speed. It's only about whether he can hit the shot. So um, it's all down to ball strike and ball speed. Jason now with his power ball. He's had that, he's had that fade. That fade's been the bane of him today. He's, he's let it go right. It's all over. Uh, Flight Scope said, not tonight. 
No, no, he's uh, he's had a great performance here, JC, but he'd be pleased getting to this stage. It was always going to be a tough ass to go against Matt. Matt never misses this grid. Guys, very well played, Matt. Very good performance once again. Another drive over 400 yards, 404 yards. How are you liking the grid here at the Melbourne Club at Brockett Hall? Yeah, I am liking the grid here, to be fair. Um, it has been good the last two days, really. It's been really dry. It's been a little downwind early on today. I think the wind settled a little bit now, but um, didn't hit it quite as good there, but just caught a couple down the right side, which is running pretty hot tonight. Jason, well played. Commiserations. Tough opponent today, though. He's getting them out there, isn't he? Yeah, he was. Great hitter. Have you enjoyed your experience here, though? It's been another fantastic event. Yeah, the events are always awesome. And uh, thanks to the crowd here in London, it's been an awesome event so far. Matt, I've got to ask you about the final coming up against the man who knows how to get it done in this sport, Joe Miller. What are your thoughts? What are your feelings? What's your approach? Um, I'm going to have to hit a little bit better than that, I think. Um, you know, um, he's been picking up speed all the way through this. He's been picking up numbers as well. So, you know, if I can keep a few in, get a few good numbers, it should be close, but we'll see how it goes. Matt Nicole, congratulations through to the final. Jason Cook, commiserations. Brilliant semi-finalists. Guys, give it up for Matt and Jason. Awesome. Thanks, Matt.